Which gun is better? A question we have all asked ourselves inside the game, outside the game, it doesn't matter. You've heard it before, you're gonna hear it again. Today we're gonna put up the infamous M4A1, the ultimate chad of weapons in modern warfare. Lock up your daughters, this thing is not wearing a suppressor. Today we're gonna put it up against the Kilo 141, the beta cuck gun. Or is it the beta? A lot of people think they're slyly sneaking under the radar using this gun, claiming it's as good as the M4. Well, let's put it to the test. Enough with the shenanigans, enough with the assumptions. Let's get started. Kicking things off, let's deal with the most important part first. Let's look at the damage for this weapon. Here we're using the M4. At long range, we're gonna be able to do 18 points of damage. Now notice it doesn't matter if I hit him in the leg, the chest, the penis. It's gonna do 18 damage regardless. There's just body shots and there's headshots in this game. Let's move up field into medium range. Here we're going to be doing 23 points of damage, making it a 5 shot kill. And lastly, getting up close and personal, we're going to be doing 28 points of damage, effectively making it a 4 shot kill within this range. Didn't catch that all, don't worry, I got pictures for those who like them. Here you can see we're rocking a 6 5 4 damage pattern. 6 shots to kill, 5 shots to kill, 4 shots to kill. Let's compare it with the Kilo. Like two peas in a pod, these guns are going to shoot the exact same. At long range, we're dealing 18 damage. Moving up, once again, we're going to be hitting 23 damage. And you guessed it, hold on to your shorts, people. Close up and personal, we're doing 28 points of damage. So let's compare this previous picture with now the new kilo information. And once again, just reiterating, here we have the exact same damage profiles. We're doing the 654. Now these are the damage numbers for body shots, including the legs. But you know we have to worry about the headshot multipliers. I like a good headshot as much as the next person, so let's go take a look. Starting with the M4 here at long range, we're going to be doing a whopping 27 points of damage. Let's mosey on up a few steps, and now we're going to be doing a whopping 34 points of damage. And finally at last, let's give Zane a nice smoochy pooch. Here we've got 42 points of damage, my god look at this guy's face. Now just to save time, I'm going to whip out the Kilo, and once again, here at long range, we're doing 27 points of damage. Moving on up to medium range, we'll see another 34 points of damage. God, what an absolute sickening sight this man is a warrior. Boom, 42 points of damage. So once again, let's pull up this damage chart. And just like with the body shots, the headshots perform the exact same. 4-3-3. Now I don't know if you're surprised to see these two guns have the exact same damage models, but let's talk about range. Here we see our first discrepancy between the two weapons. Here we're in that medium range. You can see with the M4 I'm doing 23 damage as expected. Switch to the Kilo. Same amount of damage. But watch when I take a few steps forward. There the M4 does 23, but the Kilo does 28 damage. This means that the Kilo enters its close range damage before the M4 does. So as you can see, 23 damage by the measly M4, then boom, 28 damage. So this effectively means that the Kilo will take one less bullet to kill at this particular range over the M4. But the range gap isn't that big. As you can see, I'm just going to take a few steps forward. And now the M4 is doing 28 damage just like the Kilo. So to summarize, the Kilo enters its close range damage about 1-2 to two meters before the M4 does. It might not seem like much, but it basically just means that when the Kilo enters from long range to medium range, or medium range to short range, it has about 1 to 2 meters on the M4, where it's going to kill in one less bullet. So in these particular sweet ranges, albeit a very small gap, the Kilo is actually going to kill in one less bullet than the M4. But speaking of time to kill, let's take a look at the fire rate. Now even though these two guns have a little bit different range between the two, they still have the same base damage. So unless you're in that sweet spot we talked about, the gun with the faster fire rate will actually kill faster. Hold on to your socks, it's about to get loud. So pretty hard to see in full motion, but the M4 actually does have a faster fire rate. Let's run that bitch back and slow this thing down. You can slowly see the M4 take the lead in terms of bullets fired. And at the end we actually have a 2 bullet difference, where the M4 has gotten 2 more shots off than the Kilo. Alright, get your calculators out. For the M4, we shot 30 rounds in 2.11 seconds. Let's go ahead and multiply that by our unit conversion to get rounds per minute. Kids, don't you forget your unit conversions. Make those units cancel out. It's a good math tip, it'll help you a lot. That'll give us an estimated fire rate of 850 rounds per minute for the M4. Now for the Kilo, we shot the same amount of rounds in 2.20 seconds this time. Once again, multiply that by our conversion. 
and that's going to give us roughly 820 rounds per minute therefore making the m4 shoot faster so the m4 at most ranges minus the sweet spot we talked about will kill faster than the kilo but at what cost for this faster fire rate and for that let's take a look at recoil now please forgive me as i've accidentally switched up the order here so we're using the kilo first not the m4 here you can see a very modest recoil pattern by the kilo ever so slightly is this thing going to shoot up a little bit to the left nothing too crazy definitely manageable so above there's three modest kilo recoil patterns and my god this thing is kicking like a misbehaved child having a tantrum we're getting quite a bit of upwards recoil and to the right here you can see a very nice comparison between the two guns it is no question that the m4 kicks like a mother at least when compared to the kilo so yes you're getting the faster fire rate with the m4 but it's going to be much harder to be accurate with it now let's just talk about the handling of these two weapons first let's talk about movement speed now it's a little hesitant to add this as it's hard to know if you're being 100 percent accurate in these particular clips the m4 looks like it finishes like maybe one or two frame earlier but that could be due to some errors so i'm going to go ahead and say that these two guns have the same movement speed and if the m4 is actually faster the difference is so minuscule that we might as well just say these guns are the same speed now let's quickly check the aim down sight speed and once again just like their movement speed i'm going to say these have the exact same ads time at 0.15 seconds now just so we can be 100 percent sure we're going to do a sprint to fire ads time and once again that's going to be the exact same for both guns we're hitting 0.12 seconds for this one now i guess the last place to look for some variability is in the reload speeds and here we'll see some the first reload is with bullets still in the mag and here we'll see the kilo just barely beat out the m4 1.18 to 1.21 not that noticeable of a difference next we'll do the other reload where your mag is completely empty now oddly enough even though the kilo had a little faster reload last time when the mag is completely empty the m4 has a 0.01 second quicker reload and really at this point we're just splitting hairs with the reloads they each both have one faster reload than the other but the difference is very minuscule as well now the last thing i want to talk about that makes these guns different is the customizability here in the m4 you actually have two different ammo types we're not testing them in this video as they drastically change the guns makeup but nevertheless the m4's customization goes a little bit more in depth than the kilo and on the flip side of things along with having no ammunition customization the kilo also has no type of light barrel most of the assault rifles in this game have some type of light barrel that will decrease your ads time increasing ads speed in this game seems to be a hot topic so the fact that the kilo doesn't have that option is definitely a negative so i've tried to cover the basics the essentials of these two weapons so let's go ahead and summarize what we've learned today both guns hit for the exact same damage at close range there will be a 4 shot kill, medium there will be 5 shots, far away there will be a 6 shot kill. We tested headshot damage as well, that was the same. Also I didn't show it but penetration damage, you know shooting bullets through walls, that was the same. So even though the damage was the same, the kilo has a little bit better range than the M4. So up close the M4 is a 4 shot kill and then as you get farther away it becomes a 5 shot kill. Well the kilo has a greater distance to go before it becomes a 5 shot kill. And same thing going from medium range to long range. The Kilo has that 1 to 2 meter advantage on the M4, where it's going to require one less shot to kill. I feel this is really significant in hardcore game modes. This extended range the Kilo has allows this weapon to be a one shot kill at certain ranges, where the M4 would be a two shot kill. That's double the bullets you have to put in someone to kill them, that is quite a difference. So even though the Kilo has better range, the M4 has a faster fire rate. So when these two weapons are in the same damage range, which will be most of the time, Lining all of your bullets while using the M4 will mean a faster time to kill. But with that fast time to kill comes the high recoil the M4 has. Much more noticeable than the Kilo's recoil. So if you want to take advantage of the fact that the M4 has a faster time to kill, you better be able to control that recoil and land all those shots. Now enough with the differences, the similarities are in the handling of this weapon, the mobility, all the different types of handling and speeds we tested all basically were the exact same between the two weapons. And finally, within the customization, the M4 was a little bit more flexible. We have different types of rounds we can use, giving us different range and damage models. And the Kilo, on the other hand, lacked customization without a light barrel. Alright, there's your rundown of these two magnificent beasts. 
I feel we tackled the main attributes, the biggest issues of these weapons. If you feel I missed something or should have measured something that I didn't in this video, let me know in the comments. Along with that, let me know which weapon you think is the better weapon. And finally, which two weapons you'd like to see compared in the future videos. Anyways, thanks for watching. I gotta go eat something, I'm starving.